Good morning, good uh, afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever that is. Uh, welcome to another edition, of course, of the Guidebook of the Week series. And today we will explore the uh, robot setup, uh, which means it's a guidebook that takes you through different steps. Uh, to do the setup for uh, a co-robot or uh, any kind of like uh, automated process in the end. It's a robot that will do the job uh, like with an actual arm, you know, doing co-packing. But, uh, you know, a robot can be a machine in the end. It's just showing some setup steps, which can be applied to lots of different types of operations. Uh, so let's go through it. All right. So. What type of work do you plan on doing today? We are going to do production, my friends. Um, okay, or uh, you might be my my enemy, who knows? So let's go through that. Uh, that's the, the puppy you're, we're gonna work with today, the True Ben Cell uh, 7000. Uh, we have access to its manual by clicking here. We don't have to dig through, you know, um, a corner of the facility in a dusty old binder to find uh, this. It's right there right now. We don't have to, you know, search maybe for, for another instruction search in the computer. Um, it's right there, uh, all linked. Uh, we're not doing any quantities. We're just doing a setup here. So we're not showing any like um, cycles or, or quantity uh, number in here. Uh, we're still able to send messages whenever we want. If we need a mechanic, uh, maybe, well, um, mechanic's not there, but uh, maybe we have an idea, like an improvement suggestion, which could be uh, maybe we add a mechanic or like, a, you know, maintenance, uh, maintenance group uh, to this list. Send, and then uh, maybe if someone's doing um, their their uh, job, they're working at our desk, uh, they have some time on their hands, uh, they can make that improvement. Okay, let's uh, enough. Let's go through it. Uh, making sure we have the safety glasses, of course, and the steel toe boots. Uh, so what do we have here? Uh, ensure that the arm has been turned away from the pallet placement. Here, uh, very good job of using the, the annotations. Uh, it's very clear uh, to see that uh, we need to have the pallet placement clean and how to rotate the arm all done with, uh, again, DKS annotations. Moving through, place a pallet fully against the bottom stoppers of the machine, as we can see here. Uh, now, instead of using, you know, one picture, and like doing two steps with one picture each, of course, we can use the picture and picture here to show both at the same time. Always a good idea to always show what not to do. Like we often show the process, but uh, if you, you know, give an instruction to a new employee, a lot of things will go wrong and in, in your mind you already know how to fix those so you don't uh, you know think necessarily on showing how uh, like what could happen and what to do if that happens uh, so here uh, again we, we it's just a simple reminder uh, essentially of what not uh, what needs not to be done okay moving through uh, move the arm back into positions using the curved line again firmly close the door very important otherwise it just won't start probably uh, recalibrate the arm with the newly inserted pallets. What I like this guidebook. It shows more step of like interactive, uh, interacting with the screen uh, to do a certain setup, which we have more and more, of course, uh, these days. It shows that you know even if we have an automated process, like the the robot will do his job. It's his job. Uh, you still need a human to set it up. Like go and pick the the correct program and set maybe some parameters. So you still need an instruction for for that stuff. Let me uh, move right here. Okay, Oof, that was tiring. Okay, uh, recalibrate the arm with the new lane sorted pallet. We're using the droplet to show the orders of things. It could be also operation droplet. So when we move away, we just blink one after another. Uh, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty easy that one. I don't think we need uh, we need the operation droplets in that case. And no droplets are perfect. So we click on setup, pallet selection, and calibrate pallet right here. Uh, moving on. Same thing here, we're using four picture in pictures instead of doing like four steps. Uh, like with only one droplet on each wouldn't make sense. We can all put everything in the same one. So set up, run in, approach, start position and start. And here, of course, whenever you click on it, it highlights the text attached to it. Uh, select the program from the list. Could be any program. Uh, maybe on your you know work order traveler, it's written the program that you should be picking here. Uh, meaning that this instruction works for 
anything like you only need to build one of course it's more like of an, uh, an SOP it's standard operating procedure uh, that can work with lots of different products that you will manufacture so just check on your sheet uh, maybe we can even have the the you know a picture of the work order traveler that shows you where on the sheet the program's written could be it uh, okay moving on upon selection of the job the palette template should be available so if the pallet and the parts are not present, please build the pallet yourself and add the parts by manually dragging them into the empty spaces in the box so it matches the placement of the parts on uh, the pallet. So again, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, okay. Moving on, confirm that all parts have been selected on the screen. All parts on the screen should be green, as we can see here. And if not, click on the part manually. So here we clearly see what this means uh, by having a visual representation of the green stuff. Once confirmed, please start the machine. And that is it. We arrive at the end and then uh, we can close on everything. The instruction could be set to close automatically as well. Um, we let it run its course. And at the end, maybe we have another you know, uh, guidebook that shows you how to remove everything from there. Um, and maybe clean the machine if it got messy a bit. We never know with uh, robots. Uh, maybe there's even a, a guidebook that runs while the production's happening and, uh, you know, asking us to do some inspections maybe from time to time. That could be it. Uh, but in that case, it's just, again, showing a setup that you can, uh, you know, reuse for um, any other different types of processes where you need to uh, do a setup for something automated because you still need, you know, humans.